Going along with the theme of adding the account, the accountant center this year uh, in QuickBooks 2012, uh, Intuit has also added the inventory center. So notice if, if you look at your top drop down menus now, and if you go under vendors where we're used to seeing inventory activities down here, it's no longer there. And that's because we have our own special inventory drop down. And uh, they also added the inventory center. Okay, so it's similar to what we're looking at in the Customer and Vendor Center. It has a list of all of our inventories over here. Now, again, this is inventory, so no service items, no other charge items, discounts, etc. To get to that list, you still can go up here under lists and go to your items list. So you still have this view, uh, what you're used to seeing in your, your older QuickBooks files. Okay, so back in the Inventory Center, uh, you do have your view file up top, so you can see all your inventory, all assemblies with quantities greater than zero, with quantities less than zero, and then you can have a custom filter as well. You can find on this list, okay, so you can do a search. We do have our drop downs where we can add multiple inventory items or add a new one. We have transactions that happen with inventory, adjust inventory on hand, build assemblies. Then, of course, you've got your standard print and also export to Excel and import from Excel. Okay. And the inventory information screen here does give you a quick report on the inventory, the unit of measure, manufacturing part, costs, average cost, sales costs, markup. Take a look at that in our other video when talking about inventory markups and what's new in 2012. You can't attach information to this uh, inventory item. It has quick reports here, stock status reports, inventory valuation reports, and then notes, which is really exciting to be able to add notes right on the screen to say, you know, only only purchase this from vendor XYZ. Then down below, it'll also have all the transactions that we're used to seeing, and we can filter that out. So we can say we only want to see invoices this fiscal year, last year, and then also open invoices only. Um, so we can filter out this report. And then another big one that is uh, part of this inventory center is the, that you can now attach an image to it, okay? So it is drag and drop or click and select. So I'll show you drag and drop. I'm gonna minimize this screen a little bit. I have our logo over here and I'm going to drag and drop it into the file. Populates quickly. The image is sitting in there now. Um, for us to use. So if I double click on it, I can come in here and change the image if I ever need to, or I can remove the image as well if I don't like that image and I want to load a different one. Okay. They do have the view here where you can expand to full list. So that way, if you don't like to see the summary uh, information, you can expand it here, right click and customize the columns that you want to see. If you want to add the description column, maybe quantity on hand, uh, reorder point, and let's just see cost basis, and let's add physical count, okay. All right, so you can widen this here and see the view exactly how you want to see it for your user. So it'll remember this for your user. That way, anytime you log in, you can quickly um, pull up this screen and see how you're doing with inventory. Maybe you want to sort by reorder point um, or sort by quantity on hand, and that way you can pull up quickly the list of uh, items that you need to reorder. All right, so that's a new inventory center.